I am Nina Rose Elema, and the topic is the threat landscape. Welcome, everyone, to today's presentation on cybersecurity. In our increasingly interconnected world, the importance of cybersecurity cannot be overstated. From personal data to sensitive corporate information, the security of our digital assets is paramount. Today, we'll delve into the ever-evolving landscape of cyber threats, explore the challenges organizations face in securing their systems, and discuss strategies to mitigate these risks. Let's start by understanding the nature of cyber threats. Cyber attacks come in many forms, from malicious software like viruses and ransomware to social engineering tactics like phishing scams. Hackers are constantly devising new ways to exploit vulnerabilities and compromise systems. One prevalent threat is malware, which can infect computers and networks, causing data breaches and financial losses. Phishing attacks, on the other hand, use deceptive emails or websites to trick users into revealing sensitive information. Hackers are also a significant threat, utilizing advanced techniques to breach security defenses and gain unauthorized access to networks. Understanding these threats is crucial for developing effective cybersecurity strategies. The impact of cybercrime extends far beyond financial losses. It can damage reputation, erode customer trust, and disrupt business operations. In today's digital age, even a single data breach can have devastating consequences. Take, for example, the Equifax data breach in 2017, where hackers stole the personal information of millions of individuals. This is one of the largest data breaches in history. It happened at Equifax, the company that tracks all your credit cards and mortgages to determine your credit score. Half of all Americans potentially exposed their highly sensitive personal information now in the hands of hackers. The fallout from such incidents can be immense, with long-lasting repercussions for both businesses and consumers. Moreover, cybercrime is not limited to the corporate sector. Government agencies, healthcare organizations, and even individuals are at risk. No one is immune to the threat of cyber attacks. Hey there! Thanks for tuning in. Today we're diving into the world of cybersecurity, a constantly changing landscape that's more important than ever. Let's talk about keeping our data safe. Businesses must protect their sensitive information from being stolen or tampered with. Imagine you're running a small business. You've got customer data, financial records, and employee information stored on your servers. Now picture what would happen if a cyber criminal gained access to that data. It could be disastrous, right? That's why cybersecurity is so important. Whether you're a small startup or a multinational corporation, safeguarding your data is non-negotiable. It's not just about protecting your bottom line. It's about maintaining trust with your customers and employees. But here's the thing. Finding the right balance between security and business needs is tricky. It's a juggling act for managers, IT folks, and everyone in between. Let's say you're an IT manager in a large organization. Your job is to keep the company's systems secure while also ensuring employees have the tools they need to get their work done. But what happens when security measures make it harder for employees to do their jobs efficiently? It's a tough situation that requires careful consideration. Balancing security and business needs isn't just about finding a middle ground. It's about prioritizing risks and making informed decisions that align with your organization's goals. So what are we doing about it? Well, organizations are stepping up their game with security strategies, training programs, and more to fight cybercrime head-on. Let's take a closer look at some of these countermeasures. Security strategies, for example, involve implementing a range of tools and processes to protect against cyber threats. This could include firewalls, antivirus software, encryption, and more. Training programs are another essential countermeasure. Educating employees about cybersecurity. Best practices can help prevent common security breaches, like falling victim to phishing scams or using weak passwords. And then there's incident response planning. Despite our best efforts, breaches can still occur. Having a solid plan in place to detect, respond to, and recover from security incidents is crucial for minimizing damage and getting back on track quickly. But despite our efforts, cybercrime is still on the rise. Complex systems, BYOD policies, and crafty cybercriminals are making it tough to stay ahead. Let's start with complex systems. 
In today's digital age, businesses rely on a complex web of interconnected systems and devices. Each connection is a potential entry point for cyber criminals, making it challenging to keep track of and secure every endpoint. Bring your own device, BYOD policies, while offering flexibility for employees, also introduce new security risks. Personal devices may not have the same level of security controls as company-owned devices, putting sensitive data at risk if they're lost or stolen. And then there are the cyber criminals themselves. They're constantly evolving their tactics and finding new ways to exploit vulnerabilities. From sophisticated phishing emails to ransomware attacks, cyber criminals are always one step ahead. Speaking of challenges, BYOD policies are a mixed bag. Sure, they give employees flexibility, but they also open the door to security risks like malware. Let's say you're an employee who uses your smartphone for work purposes. You might download apps, browse the web, or connect to public Wi-Fi networks without giving it a second thought. But each of these activities exposes your device to potential security threats. Now, imagine that the same device is connected to your company's network. If it's infected with malware, it could spread to other devices and compromise sensitive company data. That's the risk of BYOD policies. So, what can organizations do to mitigate these risks? Implementing mobile device management, MDM solutions, enforcing security policies, and providing employee training are essential steps for securing BYOD environments. And let's not forget about software vulnerabilities. Patching things up quickly is key to keeping our systems safe from exploitation. Picture this scenario. A software developer releases a new update for their application. This update includes critical security patches to fix vulnerabilities that could be exploited by cyber criminals. Now, imagine you're responsible for managing your company's software updates. You have two options. Install the update immediately to patch the vulnerabilities and protect your systems, or delay the update to avoid potential compatibility issues or downtime. It's a tough decision, right? But here's the thing. Delaying critical security patches puts your organization at risk. Cyber criminals are constantly scanning for vulnerable systems, and every delay increases the likelihood of a successful attack. Unfortunately, cyber threats are getting more sophisticated by the day. Organized groups and even government-backed hackers are a real concern. Let's talk about organized cybercriminal groups. These are highly sophisticated organizations with the resources and expertise to launch targeted attacks against specific companies or industries. Take ransomware attacks, for example. These attacks involve encrypting a company's data and demanding a ransom for its release. Organized cybercriminal groups use sophisticated encryption techniques and infrastructure to carry out these attacks, making them extremely difficult to stop. And then there are government-backed hackers. These are cyber criminals sponsored by nation-states with the resources and backing of their governments. Their motives range from stealing intellectual property to disrupting critical infrastructure. The scale and sophistication of these threats can be overwhelming, but it's essential not to lose sight of the fact that we can defend against them. By staying informed, implementing robust security measures, and collaborating with law enforcement and cybersecurity professionals, we can mitigate the risks posed by these sophisticated adversaries. So, what's the bottom line? We've got to stay vigilant and proactive. Understanding the challenges and taking action is our best defense against cyber threats. From implementing robust security measures to staying informed about the latest threats, every step we take brings us closer to a more secure digital world. And remember, cybersecurity is a team effort. It's not just up to IT professionals or security experts. Each one of us plays a role in protecting ourselves and our organizations from cyber threats. This is Nina Rose. Thanks for hanging out with me today and learning more about cybersecurity. Together, we can build a safer digital future.